Hi friend. Uh, today, in today's session, we will uh, demonstrate uh, the rewrite feature, the URL rewrite feature that Microsoft Microsoft has introduced in iOS 7. Uh, first, uh, let's start how to add that feature in the IIS because that not comes with uh, comes default with the IIS. So uh, go to IIS.net in the download download section, and here here we'll see like uh, URL rewrite add-on. So just click on add install button here, and uh, after you know some amount of time uh, installation things will happen, and you will see this feature here. So uh, this this is the basically icon the uh, icon that that you will get after installing. So uh, why what is basically URL rewrite? As we know, like uh, uh, during the development and for the development, we pass lots of query string and lots of parameters, uh, lots of flags are you know part of the query string. And the thing is that query string is not very user friendly. So this is the one thing like if you want to create a user friendly URL, then you can just use this feature URL rewrite. So, but today uh, there is a lots of thing that uh, there is lots of thing that you can achieve through the URL uh, URL rewrite. But today, uh, uh, what I am going to do here is uh, I am just going to protect a certain kind of files. Suppose you have a certain kind of files in your application or in the website, and you want to protect it. But you want to use that file through the web page or you through the through your you know a specific URL. But you don't want uh, to be used in. Uh, anywhere else or any spam or any request coming from other than your site so let's start with that <coughs> so let's uh, for the sample purpose I have created the request check this is the one site which I have created and uh, in this uh, in this site I have created two files here uh, let me show you that files first uh, just a minute. Okay. So this is the location. This is where I have uh, just. Uh, uh, so this is the files. Default one dot aspx, default two dot aspx, and the my data dot xml. So here. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to consume this XML file in default one dot xpx and default two dot xpx. And my requirement is I want to use this XML file only in these files. I don't want to uh, I don't want this XML file to be used as a download or to be or to be viewable in a browser. Even uh, even uh, even even uh, you know uh, anonymous user has just cracked the URL of this file you want to protect this XML file to be viewed or to be downloaded so this is the requirement I hope this is clear what is the requirement let me show you the code uh, what is this so I am just trying to consume this XML file and reading that XML file through the jQuery and just putting those content here Okay, let's start creating a rule. Uh, so, you know uh, what we are going to achieve. We are just going to protect a XML file being used directly from the web, you know, the web browser. Uh, so, uh, let's create the rule here. So, blank rule that I'm going to select here, blank rule, and uh, here you will just just define the name of the rule. So, I'm just uh, uh, protect. XML file and what which file I'm just going to protect. So in my case, I'm just going to protect dot uh, XML file and uh, but it's up to you to define the pattern or define the regular expression, uh, regular expression, and find the you know the value in your query string for 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 which you are making the rule basically. So from in my case, I'm just going to make a rule for my data dot XML and uh, so so there is a two condition basically 
so if someone is trying to access this my data dot xml first i'll i'll verify that if this this request is for a file uh, requested file right so if the uh, so this is the this, this is the server variable which is coming with the request so requested file name is a file or match the pattern so i'll just i'll just go with the match the pattern and just select like a uh, uh, star with the xml so the xml should be the end so i'm just uh, putting the dollar sign here so that will be the as the the query the the file name should be end with the dot xml because the dot here is we have to just make it a step sequence here so i'm just putting backslash here so forward slash after any name dot xml file so this is the one condition that will be validated uh, if anyone if any request coming for the mydata.xml so we'll see uh, that the the requested file uh, is uh, the xml and the second thing that we are going to add validate is like a referrer who is referrer so is it my page or something else so in the my case http referrer and uh, we'll see that this is a start and this is end so it means http referrer is empty it means someone is trying to use that file directly in the browser so it's up to you to validate the you know any page name or the domain name anything that you want in the referrer but in my case in the my sample i'm just i'm just validating that http referrer is blank so here is the so this is the basically rule which i have created here like requested file name should be the xml and the referrer is empty if this is the true this redirect to where http slash slash google dot com and just apply the rule now the rule has been created now open the browser and try to access that file first so in my case the file name is my data dot xml so so i'm trying to use directly the my data dot xml here now the request is directly you know uh, directing to google because of uh, because of uh, the is must uh, you know try uh, try to find out like uh, the file name is xml and the referrer is basically empty that's why is just is just redirecting my you know uh, request to google.com let's try to use your uh, file i'm just trying to access that same file through my page so this is the my page this is my page now the request is coming here so my uh, as you seen like my file my page is able to access that xml file but if you if anybody try to use that type uh, use that data file directly see request is you know going to google so, so it is a, you know it is not allowing to allowing you to you know uh, access that file so this is the rule basically through that you can just protect it and uh, see what happened here is uh, like if you want to validate that what happened in the web.config file so if you want to go with the uh, web.config file see this is the rule which we have created and is has uh, automatically added that rule in the web.config so this is the file this is uh, uh, the url my data.xml and we have just make two conditions so you have you know you want to validate multiple con you have suppose you have multiple conditions to be validated in the you know in the server variables or in the query string it's your job to just just put it as many any as many conditions that you want to validate so in my case we have we have just validated you know two uh, condition and if uh, things goes the true we just action is this we are just redirecting this request to 
google.com so this this is the basically rule the next rule which uh, will create here is like uh, okay so we have a one folder here like uh, xml this is the one folder and we have a three files here a dot asb and first dot stm and first dot let's make this is also first dot csv so we have three files first dot csv first dot stm and first dot txt the requirement here is to protect i want to protect first dot txt csv particularly in this folder so this this rule is particularly on the folder basic uh, on the uh, on the folder basically i want to protect this xml folder only but for particular file types okay let's start with the url writing so i am just going to create one more rule here blank rule so this is like a xml folder protection okay and uh, like uh, what we want to protect here is like uh, start with the xml backslash sorry forward slash it means validating the folder and star dot star if you want to make i'll just put it here like that and the condition here is what i am going to validate here is uh, add its request is for a directory Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. So, requested file. So, uh, let's uh, make it like. Uh, same, which we have created like uh, XML dollar sign and backslash. Escaping the dot sign here, and you want to protect the CSV file as well, right? So the XML and CSV. Okay. No. Let's redirect to HTTP slash slash. So this time I am just going to direct this one on the Yahoo dot com. Just make it clear. Let's try. So HTTP slash local host slash xml slash sorry first dot st so first i'm trying to use the first dot st let's try txt now i'm trying to use csv what is happening now the request is going to yahoo.com see now open the xml file the web.config file see the rules that microsoft that is has created so this is the rule which we have created the let's make one more like txt here let's see it like local host and XML first dot txt. Sorry, it's coming from the cache. Just replace it. Try to replace it. Now the request is going to yahoo.com. So it's working. I just want to uh, check one more thing. Like first dot txt is in the XML folder right uh, this time. I'm just putting this file here first dot txt in the root section, and I'm trying to access that file here. 
colon slash slash local host slash first dot txt so this time it's coming right this uh, in the root it's coming but when i'm trying to use the same file in the xml folder sorry 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 uh, xml slash first dot the request